having a regular monthly email cycle for about three years. And um, she's attended several therapies without any uh, remedy. And um, when she attended the previous Jesus. My name is Sister Ruth Ifejita from DLCF Kano State, Nigeria. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm here this evening to testify of what God did for me in one of the global crusades, specifically in the showers of blessing global crusade in Port Harcourt. Actually, um, in the year 2018, I noticed that I had what was called medically spotting. And it was actually a concern to me. So I had to go to the hospital and I was being scanned and I saw some consultants and they said maybe I had hormonal imbalance. But after the diagnosis, they discovered there was nothing and I was just trusting God. Then it now happened that during the global crusade, they asked us, they gave um, some flyers just like these echoes of miracles they shared here in Lagos. They did the same in Port Harcourt, and I wrote my prayer request. Then on day two of the program, one of the slogans that was used in the voiceover was, what God does not do, what God cannot do does not exist. And I believe God that whatever sickness God cannot heal does not exist. And I keyed into that. Then day two of the program, when our GS, our Father in the Lord was praying, he said that that issue of blood would dry up like the Red Sea. And I believe that. I never knew that God could answer prayers in less than 24 hours. Day three of the program at the campground, I just felt that something was coming down gradually. And I was scared, but I knew that something was about to happen. Then eventually the thing dropped and I was discomforted. So I had to use the restroom to check myself. Lo and behold, I saw something like a ball-like mass cover the blood dropped. And from that moment till now, that bleeding spotting just stopped. And I wanted to watch myself because I needed to testify at Spotacot Crusade. But I said, no, let me watch myself at the November Global Crusade. And everything, I didn't notice it as if I never had such an experience. I said, Daddy, God bless you, sir. And may the anointing continue more and more in Jesus' name. I say, may the Lord, may the name of the Lord be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let's listen to the next testifier. Interviewers, I'm waiting for you. The miracles of tonight, please send them over here. By online, we will we'll come to you after this. The next testifier has had eye problems, which was diagnosed by the optometrist to be what's called astigmatism, irregular focus of the lenses. And this was attended by a lot of pain and um, discomfort. Eyeglasses were prescribed for her, but even with that, she kept having this pain, severe pain, um, swelling, and uh, she, she had a lot of difficulties up until the time yesterday. So today when she came and she believed God for healing and after the final amen, she saw that she couldn't, she could see very clearly, she didn't need the glasses anymore, and she's so full of praises to God. Let's hear details from her. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. My name is Adeifa Grace. I'm from Ali Mosho Group, um, Nigeria, Lagos. I'm here to testify to what God has done in my life this evening. For a while now, I've been having astigmatism 
um, where, um, in, the, in the case whereby my eyes usually ache me very much and I have to scratch and scratch, it usually itches me. And then when it starts itching me, tears usually drop. But um, this year, it continued, it continued. Then mid-August, I told my parents about it because for a while I've been complaining and the complaints was getting too much. So when I told them in August, I had to go to the health center. So when I saw the ophthalmologist, she was like, it's astigmatism and she prescribed the glasses for me. Actually, the glasses usually help me to um, protect my eye from sun because sun usually affects my eye as well and it usually causes the ache. But when I started using the glasses, I, I really didn't see any improvement because the ache still continued. But today, when I came to the program, because the ache also returned on Sunday, the ache was itching. It was very, very much. And then when I came, Mommy. when I came for the program, I, I was believing God that the Lord is going to heal me. So tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, after the GS prayed, because when he was praying, I raised one hand and put the other hand on my eye, believing God for the healing. So by the time the um, prayer ended, I opened my eyes and I could see clearly the ache has gone and I'm very, very fine now. Praise the Lord. I believe my healing is permanent and it shall get yours as well in Jesus' name. Wait, wait, wait. We want to test you. We want to test you. There's the Bible. Where did I open to? You will read. Mark. Mark chapter read, 1. Read two, the first two verses. Mark Let's chapter test 1, her. verse 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Verse 2. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare which shall prepare thy way before thee. Praise the Lord! Miracle confirms. You see, he read the scripture friendly and fastly. Our God is wonderful. Online, be ready. The next certifier here. Our next testifier is a case of chronic asthma, and she, she had a concomitant chronic peptic ulcer, that is a sore in the stomach, which has been giving her a lot of discomfort, breathlessness, and uh, a lot of pain, cough and things, chronic asthma. But she has a testimony to give, because after this prayer this evening, she has a testimony to give to us. The Lord delivered her, and this healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Please go ahead. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Victoria Okon, and I'm 13 years. I'm from Okekoto District, Ovila Agege group of districts. My testimony goes like this. The problem has started since September 13th of this year. I do have breathlessness i don't breathe very well i don't stand where there is dust i don't stand where there's much crowd i don't stand on that cold i don't eat fried food i don't eat plated things i don't drink soft drinks and i also have ulcer if i eat late or i eat heavy food there will be a sharp pain in my stomach and there will also be a sharp pain on my chest but after the prayer of the man of god i had a sharp pain in my chest and my abdomen I sat down, I drank water. When I stood up, I noticed that the pain has vanished. I'm not breathing very well. All oh, my body is working perfectly. Praise the Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Let the mother testify. Let the mother Praise testify. Praise the Lord. I give glory to God. This girl, she's my daughter. Online, be ready. Be ready. Right. She's my daughter. And many times we rush her to the hospital. The day it started, she was complaining of chest pain. And uh, during that, when she was complaining, she lost, but she could not breathe again. We rushed her to the hospital. 
there was a time when the church, the same thing happened to her. Our brethren were praying for her. They said, maybe it was asthma. We started treating asthma. So at the, it, it continues. We did test. She said she has a pelvic ulcer. We started treating ulcer. And uh, this, you know, it continues. The, the doctor said we should do chest x-ray. They said the chest is okay, but the problem is from the heart. And it has been on all of that. And they said You're she should brave. not eat this, she should not eat that. Tonight, when the pastor prayed, after the prayer, she said, Mommy, ah, something happened to me. A breeze blew on her. She has sharp pain. And uh, all the pains on her chest, on her abdomen, all the pains in the body, it has gone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The miracle is permanent. Is permanent. All line testifiers. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All line testifier over to you. Great miracles happening online. Let's take you to some of them before we come to the live ones. And it seems as if we have not even recovered from the previous um, wonders of the cross crusade while we are still enjoying the explosion right now. And this one is coming all the way from the UK. It's about Brother Philip's wife, who for the past two years, according to him, his wife has been having mental issues. And this happened after his wife lost the brother. And so this resulted in serious mental issues for her. According to her, she, according to the writing, she has been in and out of the hospital to get her healing. But then during the last wonders of the cross crusade, on the day three precisely, they attended the program by connecting through Zoom. And according to what this writer is saying, they slept that night and they woke up the next morning and he discovered that his wife's appearance, her looks changed completely. And then she was observed. After the third day, she was still fine. This is what happened. After that day three, when she slept in her dream, the man of God, her father, and the Lord of Jesus came to her and told her that the shoes she was putting on were dirty and that where she was walking was dirty. She was called out of that dirtiness. And then her father and the Lord came, laid his hand upon her, prayed for her, and the next morning when she woke up, her mental issues completely disappear and now she's enjoying a blessing this one also coming from youtube it is indeed a global explosion but again we have not recovered from the wonders of the cross miracles because this person also by this time last year according to her is a confidence akachuku she says that she's been waiting on god for the fruit of the womb but after the program a father in the lord came to her in the dream and he said to her that it is it was a time to flourish and she can testify now a year gone last i mean last month she 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 she, she gave birth to a miracle baby praise the lord and now we'll take you live to the federal capital territory, Abuja. Abuja live. Which is your me? Yes, I'm a son. My sushi, I shit a lay. Come, I'm here long. I'm not the paracon. Tell Abba whom we wish not to allow about whom we are to whom we wish not to. Was you my doer? Machigo army, my career. Can the Korea a fair Jimmy Matasa? My little the Maji Lafi, I took your query, the Shoko have Maji made not a mapan, the Palaki, Masha Mapa. I took your query. Praise the Lord. Our sister just testified of what the Lord did to her during the Divine Touch program. She fell sick to the state of coma. And uh, as she was down there, at the time of prayer, 
they you know brought the telephone and connect her for the prayer of the GS. And immediately after the prayer, she woke up. The following day, which was the last day of the crusade, she was able to attend the crusade by herself. Praise the name of the Lord. There is breakfast with Jesus for you 8 o'clock tomorrow morning at the Deeper Life High School Hall. You'll just be coming. And also, the banquet for the converts will come up 2nd January, Sunday, by 2 p.m. in all the group of this seats and online and the state globally over there. Let's, let's listen to her. Amen. Praise the Lord. The next testifier Eniola Odufa is a known Odufa is a known diabetic, a chronic diabetic. Is she's been on treatment for a long time, and she also had a concomitant, uh, you know, uh, arthritis, chronic arthritis. So she couldn't walk without that uh, walker you see there. In fact, during the when we started, she's been in the car sitting, and she said after listening to the ministration. And she said she would go back without her healing. And as she was sitting there in the car, that she had a voice telling her to get up and walk, to get up and walk. So she got up and started walking, and then people saw her, and they screamed and brought her to us. Let's hear from her directly. Praise the Lord. Esoni Yoruba. Eba mi yolu wa logo. Eba mi jesu logo. Modupa lo wa Olorun fori ofe ti mo ri gba lati rin la leyi inu mi de du gan ni tori ro ra ti mo ni nipa ehun arthritis ati diabetes ki se kekere gba gba ti daddy wa nu Oluwa n soro la leyi mi le rin awon mo mi gbogbo won ti wa bi mo ni ah mi le rin lati nu moto yen wa si bi bayi pe gbogbo ara lo ndu mi igba ton ton gbadura ton o ko na sha ni mu joko ti be ko na wa ni kin dj ah n ba sha dj n ba ti le ku moto n ba dj mi mo de se rin baba yi be lo ku yen wo won nu ara mi it is the doing of the Lord and it's wonderful in our side. Your permanent, your miracle is permanent. <laughs> listen to one or two from the online before you go. Don't no. forget, 5 p.m. every day, the program, that is the Miracle Explosion Program, Crusade, continues every day, 5 p.m. Online, we are waiting for you. We now go straight to Edo State where we have this testimony. South South Nigeria, Edo Live. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Oluwa Shegun Kukwola, Pastor Oluwa Shegun Kukwola from the uh, Obazua region in the Edo state Praise of Nigeria. John, in the Edo state a of Nigeria. <laughs> During the last time uh, program, and by the grace of God, 
we were carried away because those men came out from bush or suddenly they started shooting gun and we were taken away. I was praying. I said, God, what lead to this? Then on getting to their camp where they do stay, they now ask me who will I call. I said, I will call my pastor. I know they might have been praying. Then I have to call my pastor. He said, what is the number? I said, it's Mr. Aruo. He said, who is Aruo? I don't tell him more than that. Then they called him, and the pastor spoke to them. Immediately after the pastor spoke to them, there was a great confusion in their midst. There was a great confusion in their midst. Ah, they have to say, pastor, we will call you back. We didn't come because of your boy. We know that man, you are a man of God, and we are afraid of you. We didn't come because of him. We will call you back. And eventually, they now ask me, who is that man speaking? I say, it is our pastor. Then they said, eh, he's a wonderful man, no? he's a great man of God. And I believe the people of God are praying, earnestly praying. My brother, my sister, I want to testify before you. God answers prayer. Do you believe me? I was released on aunt. They did not even touch me. The other people were being beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. On the third day, they asked me to go away. I am giving them problem. Our uh, problem is too much. Uh, I said, look at God doing. So praise the Lord. Our God is good. I said, our God is good. Praise the Lord. In the camp of enemies around you, in Jesus' name. Let's listen to this last online testimony. Beko will be waiting for you. Don't forget tomorrow, 5 p.m., you are seated. By 4.30, we expect you to be here and come with orders. Online, over to you. We'll bring you some more testimonies. And this time, from the JS Facebook page we have this testimony he says praise god i want to thank god for his divine touch upon my daughter during the crusade god healed her of body itching after the prayer of the man of god i give thanks to god alayo fadui also wrote and testified of healing from excruciating back pain immediately after the prayer of the man of god listened on youtube Adeni Jolayinka also listened on YouTube and wrote, said, diabetes totally disappeared. God is still doing great things. And finally, this one. And this one, this one is coming all the way from uh, the YouTube as well of um, the Mode Modesta or KK who says that uh, our eight-year-old sister has just recovered instantaneously she has been having pains on her alveolar ridge but immediately after the prayer of the man of god tonight she confessed that the pain is no more there praise the lord is back to the moderator sir he has done for me. he has done for me that's up on your feet he has done for you. He has done for me. But my mother cannot do. But my mother cannot do. He has done for us. Jesus done it for us. He did it for us. Jesus did it for us. Jesus did it for you. I 
As you rise up on your feet, begin to thank the Lord for what the Lord has done for you.